all right guys so today we'll be making the whole application and by now i hope that you have uh, sort of run the whole application from my github repo like pulling uh, or downloading the zip file from my github repo so maybe you have run into some problems and that will be because maybe you need this um uh, extension this chrome extension so basically what's happening is even though we are running both of the server and the client side on local host we are running on different ports, but still sometimes they will give this cross origin, uh, no CSRF token or something, some error like that. And that is because both of them while running on the local host runs into this kind of problems. So if you have this already deployed somewhere in the production, then you won't run into this kind of problems. It will only happen when you are in the development stage, when you are running this in your local host. So to remedy this problem and to make your development uh, steps easier, you just download this, uh, this Chrome extension and you just, after downloading it, you just basically enable it with this toggle, with this toggle button. That's it. And you can basically start running your app. So, uh, where were we? Yeah. So basically now what, uh, so I, I do expect that you have some basic knowledge of Angular, like for example, what are directives, what are controllers, and what are routes. Like routes are basically used for routing an application, like for example, Ample, Angular is a single page application, means everything that's happening and everything that you see rendering on your browser is basically being rendered from this particular, this index.html page. Now the index.html page, as you can see, there's some, some comments. These are because whenever we run, like, as you've noticed in my repo, the means to run this app is we are using Gulp as our task runner. So Gulp helps us to run this app. Uh, we just basically specify the tasks over here. Uh, the Gulp, the Gulp command, like the default command, what it does is it injects all the CSS, the uh, the script file. So you won't have to manually go and uh, write include all your scripts. For example, if you have seen in the Angular tutorials, maybe you see that the way they inject all your controller, the directive and the services file is by manually injecting it in your uh, index.html file. And that's a really like, you know, long process. So what, what Gulp does is you just run the task, the Gulp task or the Gulp serve task. What it does, it, it first injects everything in your index.html file, all your assets, all your files, the JS, the HTML and the spec files, all of them are injected in your index.html and then it renders it in the browser and runs a port in, in the port 3000 run the server in the port 3000 right so i have cleaned out everything over from my components which is my directives actually i'll i just wrote it as components because directives are basically components yes they are an extension of the html attribute but they're also basically each each part in your web page is a component like for example this part is a component this this part is a like this whole part is a component and this whole sidebar is a component this search bar is a component uh, this nav bar is a component if there's something like you know um, dynamic going on the only thing dynamic going on is the search bar basically so that is one component and yeah every part of your page is a component and the, the best practice is you have this one page which is which is your controller, which is your route. And you can basically, the other, the, everything that's like, you know, everything that can be separated out will be separated out into components or directives in Angular language. So in everything that you see in a controller page is basically a directive. I'll elaborate this more uh, by showing you like, um, a couple of steps so first in this tutorial what I'm going to be doing is going on explaining what each file does index.css is your main CSS file uh, if you have downloaded my repo then you'll see the CSS file some CSS is already injected I'm using bootstrap which is injected by default we're using Bower. so as you've noticed maybe but while setting up this app you would have to you do npm install and then Bower install so Bower and npm they install their modules according to uh however they have been declared over here so i used these modules these angular modules and these modules after being installed via Bower, i have to inject it into my app so this module file is your go-to place. Here you inject all the stuff that you've installed, all the Angular modules that you've installed via Bower. And uh, 
the constants file what it does is basically you have your configurations here like the constant configuration that you would uh, that that would be used throughout the app in our case it will be the API URL, the server side API URL, which is HTTP, not HTTPS, HTTP localhost 8080 slash API. So this is our like default configuration throughout. This is this is the API URL that we will be using throughout our throughout our application, and so that's what the constants file does, right? So you have the config file. Config file is basically doing your configurations like this is not the same as uh, the constants file. The con constants file is basically your constant variables. So API URL is a constant variable that we'll be keeping on using in our throughout our app. And config file is basically doing your common AngularJS configurations. Here, some configurations have been laid out. For example, while posting uh, using the HTTP provider, we'll be uh, appending the whole the header that's application slash JSON because we'll be using endpoints for creating and for getting. So everything will be done via J in, in the JSON format. So that's what it's done here. And these are some stuff that I tried to do for removing the whole cross origin, uh, you know, like the cross origin problem that we're having using the whole extension, but it it just doesn't seem to work and if you guys can help me out I'll be really glad because I've tried everything I've tried to you know append this uh, append this uh, configurations in my server side coding and that didn't seem to work out as well it's in the app.js like these allow cross cross domain so this is what I, this is what I've tried to do but this still didn't seem to work uh, no idea why so my only route was to go through the extension all right so so, and this is the route file. In the route file, you basically declare all your routes. The, the This is the default route right now, the home page. And if you've seen in my uh, app, there are lots of other routes, like the publish page. This is like the, like the routing to your app, like the whole controller routing. And uh, the run block is basically your main, like the whole, in the whole application, the main function, the main run block. So... This whole application is, of course, a single page application, but and it will have several several routes. But it also like the main application is the main application's JS file is basically the run block. So I'll I'll maybe like uh, I'll elaborate this more as we go and make this app. And the assets folder contains all your um, all your images, your fonts, and your basically your app assets. And uh, yeah, and then controllers control uh, controls have nothing right now, but as you can see, it it will hold all your controllers controllers and the partials folder basically holds your partial files. Some HTML files you might not have any functionality. It's just a piece of HTML code. Like for example, the nav bar. The nav bar has no functionality. It has no search bar right now, as of now. It just has some simple HTML code. So this uh, and this this will be reused again and again so instead of declaring this every single time what i've done is i've just included this in the index.html and it will just be here and it will just be uh, called every time in every controller page and the div ui view is basically your main routing the what it does is it renders all your it, it renders the view for your routes so yeah, and uh, in the next tutorial we'll be right, we'll be starting with the controller, like writing our first controller, and so yeah, stay tuned.